down the Mississippi to the town of New Orleans. Liam Clancy was born in Carrick and Shore, the youngest of 11 children. As a young man, he dreamed of life on the stage, but there was music in his blood too. In his late teens, he met and travelled Ireland with US song collector Diane Hamilton Guggenheim and eventually travelled to America with her. His brothers, Paddy and Tom, had emigrated before him and the three, along with renowned Armagh singer Tommy Makem, began performing together. With their trademark Aaron jumpers sent by Mrs Clancy to protect against the hard New York winters, the Clancy brothers and Tommy Macon played legendary venues such as the Whitehorse Tavern in New York and, following a performance on the Ed Sullivan television show, became international stars. You get on the Ed Sullivan show and your life is twisted around. And everything all happened together at such an incredible speed at that stage. The band played a key role in the 1960s folk revival, reworking traditional ballads for both an international and an Irish audience. He was just the best ballad singer I'd ever heard in my life. Uh, it still is, probably. I don't think I, I can think of anybody who's a better ballad singer than Liam. The Clancy brothers later went their separate ways and Liam pursued a solo career in Canada before reuniting with Tommy Makem to form the hugely successful duo Makem and Clancy. Clancy Brothers and Tommy Makem did play together once again in the 1980s and in later years Liam, by now living in County Waterford, maintained a successful solo career. Liam Clancy also published an autobiography, The Mountain of the Women, and a film on his life called The Yellow Bittern was released, giving fans from across the generations the opportunity to look back on the life of one of Ireland's true folk legends. For I'm afraid I'll never be able to plough the rocks of all.